they're smiling, sure it is like a morning spring. In the lilt of Irish laughter, you can hear the angels sing. It is your boy, Mad Max. And that was my other boy, Seamus the Leprechaun. Today's episode is being filmed on St. Patrick's Day. And I couldn't think of a better way to start it than that. So before I begin, a special shout out to my family in Ireland. You know who you are if you're watching this. And in today's video, I'll be talking about traveling while living with muscular dystrophy. With a special focus on Ireland, being that I've been there five or six times. I love it every time I go. Seeing the family, seeing my hometown, Dungarvan, as I like to call it. All sorts of fun when I go over there. And on top of that, it's a very accessible place for people living with disabilities. So I highly recommend. So I want to talk about five points about why I think it's such a great place to visit. Not only in terms of the people, the culture, the drinking, of course, but because of how accommodating it is as a country in terms of being aware of people with disabilities and their needs. So by the end of this video, you'll know why I think Ireland is a great place to visit, especially if you live with a disability. So moving on to my first point, similar to a lot of places in the European Union, there is accessibility in so many places, accessible bathrooms, ramps, all sorts of things to make things more inclusive for people living with disabilities. Moving on to my second point, accommodations. I know it's similar to the first point, but the second point is about how accommodating the people are, how accommodating the hotels are, how accommodating transport is. I know it's very similar to point one, but it's a very important point to be made and it's very valuable when traveling. All the resources, the sorts of maps, the sorts of signs, the sorts of things that you need to look out for while living with a disability. It's all there in the Republic of Ireland. Similar to this point, my third point is the people are very helpful. Very accommodating, very friendly people. If I need help, there's always a lad there that's willing to help and you really appreciate that. And I know that if you visit Ireland living with a disability, you will appreciate that too. The hospitality is very relevant when it comes to helping people that might need a little help. And you see lots of Irish people with disabilities having all these different accommodations and it's incredible to see. Granted, living in the United States, there are lots of places that are accessible, but I would argue that in certain areas, the European Union definitely does things better. Uh, so for example, in terms of retrofitting in the ADA in the United States, I believe if buildings were built before the 70s, they don't have to necessarily make it accessible, which is a pain living in New York or living in any areas in the United States where the buildings are old. And to my recollection, when I was in London, when I was in Ireland, when I was in Belgium, when I was in France, I do not believe they have that sort of recommendation because so many of the buildings are so old, basically none of the buildings would be accessible. On top of that, the ease of travel is very, the ease of travel is a very important point to be made. Especially being an English speaker, there's no language barrier. In other places where my language isn't that fluent, let's say in Spain speaking Spanish or even speaking French, which I know quite a bit, there's still a language barrier that makes it difficult in certain instances to communicate what you really need in terms of help and accessibility. So this is probably going to be a shorter video than my previous ones, but Ireland is definitely a place I highly recommend for travel if you're living with a disability. The accessibility, the accommodations, how helpful the people are, the ease of travel, I highly recommend it for all of these sorts of reasons. Obviously, if you have family or relations, it makes the experience even better. And I'm so grateful to have family there 
that are of course very accommodating and understanding and i thought it was just relevant to talk about today as i'm recording it during saint patrick's day march 17th so thanks for watching please like comment and subscribe and before i go i just want to talk about my life coaching business again maximus moves with the goal of improving mind body and soul maximus moves is a health and fitness coaching program for individuals living with physical limitations if you're interested and want to find out more book a one-on-one -on -one call with me link is in the description below it'll also be pinned if you also want to join my private facebook group for other like-minded individuals who are motivated to live a happy healthy life despite limitations link is in the description hope to see you there so again ireland is a very lovely place to visit lovely people it's all green lots of rain very accessible so that's all i gotta say until next time again please like comment subscribe and all that jazz until then it's your boy max over and out